Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2 here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we're going to jump into a whole bunch of news and updates and things that are coming up in Pokemon Go plus just the month of November is going to be busy 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 off the rails good times though hopefully so let's jump into a little bit of the news update you guys on a few things and also check out some of the new Pokestops and gyms that have been going in there have you noticed in your area any new Pokestops, any new gyms because yay it's nice to have new things to explore for once in the game first things first i just wanted to quickly say as well thank you to everyone who did check out the uh, halloween video if you haven't seen that yet our halloween special it's, it's a bit of a special one each year uh if you don't watch to the end you will have basically missed the entire point of the whole video so i promise that's not just like a go check out me like trust me watch till the end secondly if you haven't checked it out i do recommend doing so there's no cheap jump scares don't worry but i also wanted to quickly clarify that there isn't a part two to that video uh in the video i was like oh we're gonna do like a double episode i meant like a two-in-one sort of thing just to make it feel like a regular zoe two dots video um not that there would be like a second part so i'm sorry that like came across wrong uh, in my delivery so i do apologize there is not a part two to the halloween episode but once again thank you for everyone like your like super sweet comments and everything on the video always so fun to make uh the halloween specials so appreciate it so first thing new pokey stops and gyms popping up in pokemon go so these new stops and gyms aren't just like someone submitted a new one and they've gone in they are ones that are popping up you know in, in what would be classified you know cells the the spacing that would normally have only one pokey stop or one gym per you know particular cell we're getting more in the kind of spaces where they shouldn't be i guess or pokemon is updating to now allow i don't know what the conditions are yet i'm sure someone some big brains are going to be figuring out what the exact conditions are for qualifying these new pokestops and gyms but go out and have a look around in your area you might have some entirely new ones or uh, your pokestop might have turned into gyms so new gyms to work on which is cool this is the first time coming into town since the update's been live i've noticed near me and in a few more like not super super Pokestop heavy areas. They've definitely got a lot more of that, um, that volume of Pokestops coming in. Whereas like, as you can see around me here, uh, where is, there's a new one here, but this new one could have just been a new one that was submitted and it looks like it probably is because it's in its own kind of cell. You can tell by the spacing, but there have been a few new gyms popping up in town. I think this one over here, the big egg in Civic Park. If you received an, a, a gift from me from the big egg this one just used to be a pokey stop which is now a gym i'm probably going to jump in that a little bit later but you can see a couple of um stops here with like the little halos what's this one i can even tap that one correctly oh the little kangaroo <laughs> straighter i love this one this one's so cute there's actually oh oh my gosh is that in the cluster oh that might be perfectly okay there's like a really good kind of triple cluster near a cafe that we sometimes have lunch at on comm days. That might have just made like a quad stop. That's going to be nice to lure up. Holy moly. But basically go around, have a look around in your local areas. Do you have some new gyms, some new stops? Enjoy. Uh, and then hopefully I guess we figure out how. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Go plus picking up some good quests. How or like what new rules might function for submitting new stops i mean stick to what you know for submitting new stops you know finding those empty cells in uh iitc and things like that what the street maps and that kind of jazz but we might be able to kind of get some more things happening in game which i think is really good more points of interest to interact with let's check these timpole as well no. next on the agenda how did you do for the dia de muertos event uh, in pokemon go as well kind of a cute little two-day mini event did you get any spicy shinies it's kind of nice to have um with this event and then also coming up the festival of lights kind of featuring in diwali uh celebration in india as well like more of these events um focusing on you know specific and like localized uh cultural events and celebrations uh, and this is something that me and a few others have been pushing niantic um for years to kind of have more representation and celebration of diversity in the game um and you know not just in the regions that they're celebrated but you know educating people around the world so i'm really happy to see that and for those of you who celebrate or recognize and participate uh in dear demotos i hope you had a lovely time with your family or with yourself or however you spent the day additionally coming up for the festival of lights as i mentioned the event in pokemon go we're gonna be getting new pokemon dead and a dead dead and a my favorite my favorite electric mouse like just the cutest chumbiest big cheeks 
big attitude, electric fairy type Pokemon. It is adorable. I love it to bits. I would die for Dedene. That is going to be this Friday. This Friday is going to be the start of just a lot of busy, busy. I'm getting my second jab on Friday. We've got the Animal Crossing update on Friday as well. We're we'll streaming a bunch of that over on Twitch. So come hang out if you want to come hang out uh, and see some of that. But the Animal Crossing update, we're also going to have your yeah, new Dedene in-game and the Festival of Lights as well, focusing around a bit of a friendship event. Additionally, for the Festival of Lights celebration, it's going to be a bit of a, yeah, as I said, friendship featured event. So opening 45 gifts per day, uh, instead of, you know, the standard, what, 30 are we at at the moment? You'll increase friendship two times as fast. So opening a gift, battling together, raiding together, uh, trading together, those sort of things. Instead of getting, you know, one point towards your friendship, you get two points. So I recommend, you know, staying on top of that, getting your gifts in, getting your gifts sent, opened, whatever it might be. Doing some like a 10 CP battle with your friends uh, to, you know, get the interaction in. Because if you're still grinding towards level 40, level 50, friendship is a absolute gold mine for XP. Uh, if you have a lucky egg on, or even without a lucky egg on, hitting ultra friend and best friend, if you can get a few people on a lucky egg, is a massive amount of XP. It's going to contribute a lot to leveling up in the game. For the event, it's going to be continuing on the um, the mischief, like the Hooper themed featured event as well. Uh, and if you finish the misunderstood mischief research, there's going to be another special research uh, dropped at the end of the seat towards the end of the season. So keep an eye out for that too, and don't forget to try and finish off that that mischief quest. The seven kilometer eggs, you're getting a bit of a refresh as well. Um, nothing groundbreaking in them, but I'll put on screen here what we're gonna get out of the 7K eggs, if that is something you might wanna do for the Festival of Lights. Additionally, there's gonna be a specific uh, India only uh, event component for the, you know, to celebrate Diwali basically. November 7th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, local time in India. You'll be able to basically have more spawns of Blitzel and Dedene, keeping in mind Blitzel can be shiny. It's kind of like a, it sounds like a mini com day uh, and two times catch candy as well. So um, I feel like it's awesome as well to see like India getting their own specific dedicated event. It's really, really cool. So have fun, enjoy guys. And hopefully one day very soon we can, we can actually be all out and about and celebrating together for that would love to be uh, in India one day for, for Diwali. That'd be fantastic. <coughs> Additionally, on the 9th, we're going to be having a Team Go Rocket uh, returns, bit of a feature event, a onslaught of Team Go Rocket encounters to be had, plus you can TM away frustration. So for any people that want to use, you know, get rid of frustration either for PvP Pokemon or just using Shadow Pokemon in general, the 9th bookmark it label the ones you want to try like to tm away so you don't forget it get it done because we don't see those very often they kind of like come up with short notice the shiny worm one day one of these days we'll get the shiny worm one of these days and cricket's got like five of them so maybe we can trade her lucky trade for a shiny worm or something and let's check oh god oh it's a beldum quest oh no oh no oh no oh no this is like the three excellent throws beldum quest avoid for me avoid at all costs Oh gosh, I thought they were in the bloody Hatch Two Eggs quest. I guess it's November, right? So November we've changed over. Our quests should have changed over. So, <laughs> Beldum trying to sneak up on me with the excellent throws. Holy moly! Um, I've also been playing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, Pikmin, Pikmin Bloom. It's been very cute, wholesome. I'm still kind of like, I think the point is just collect cute little costume Pikmin. Um, but I have been walking so much because of it. So thank you, Pikmin. It's, um, I might need to go through and like, I don't know, I've tried to find in the settings if I can disable, like, cause it specifically says like what street you find Pikmin on, which, um, you know, isn't necessarily great for content creators and not doxing themselves, but, um, you can transfer Pikmin. So it might end up being a thing where I sadly have to transfer any of the ones, you know, that might compromise anything, but Oh yeah, do a bit of a walk around and try and catch some of the catch. <laughs> Collect some Pikmin or pick up some seeds uh, around the beach and the ocean. Because like, essentially, like I, I assume the goal, it's just like walking around and 
doing cute stuff kind of vibe of an app of a game uh, but collecting all the different like costume variants so I finally picked up like a little cafe Pikmin so I'm curious to see like what it turns into uh, I've got one little park one that's been costumed up the special little Mario one uh, and some of these roadside sticker ones so they've just been found in you know residential kind of areas but you know it's made me walk quite a bit like quite a bit so no complaints there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, it's making me get out and explore more, which means I'm getting out and actually hatching more eggs and stuff in Pokemon, which is nice. Additionally, additionally, so many things. Shinx Community Day coming up this month. I am actually pretty excited for Shinx Comp Day. I know it's an existing shiny, which I tend to prefer if it's a new shiny, but it is one that's been like essentially locked behind a paywall, either you know, getting it in 7k eggs and things like that, and if you're someone who's free to play, only using your singular incubator or ones that you might get through, you know research or whatever using that incubator to try and hatch the thing would be like ridiculous even when i was doing raids for them i was using my free pass and some paid passes it took me 80 80 to 90 raids to get my first shiny shinx i've never encountered a second one i had to trade for a second one so i think it's cool that it's gonna be way more accessible for people um it's a beautiful shiny the whole family is a really nice shiny line uh and additionally so many words today it's just a talking video today <gasps> Additionally, uh, if you've got the bag storage to do it, if you have, oh my god, if you have the space to do this, uh, don't transfer anything. Don't transfer anything until Shinx Com Day, because you'll be getting extra transfer candy, but also an extra chance of XL candy when you transfer, so four times extra chance. That doesn't mean if you get one XL candy, normally you'd get four, it means you have four times the chance to get the XL candy. Which, uh, net result is more XL candy. If you've been like hoarding things from the Halloween event or from special research or from, you know, field research and stuff, as best you can, you know, I'm probably not gonna, I don't really need Gulpin XLs, I don't think, but you know, hang on to that other stuff, transfer it on Shinxcom Day, set a little alarm, you know, five minutes into Shinxcom Day, test it, transfer one thing, make sure you get the extra transfer and then go for gold, just clear out your bag uh, and start catching the Shinx or do it at the end of the day, but probably do it at the start so you can optimize your shinx day but that's going to be a massive massive little stack if you've got some stuff to transfer so that is pretty much it for today's video just a lot of news to update you guys on um if you don't see any videos besides you know the friday video over the coming days slash weeks be sure to check out uh, my twitch channel we're going to be streaming a lot a lot in november we've got animal crossing update which is massive so much like just so much coming to animal crossing it's gonna be awesome got some po more pokemon cards to open with you guys over on stream as well plus pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl the remakes are going to be out too on switch so we can't really do that on the go that's going to be streamed drop a follow now so you know when i do go live twitch.tv forward slash zoe two dots plus at the end of november alan and i are moving house so it's going to be a busy, busy, busy month, but fun. So much fun. Plus Safari Zone's in there as well, like next, next week. <sighs> busy. It's going to be good though. It's going to be good. It's good to have like things to be excited for and motivated for. So if you don't see me on here on the tube, I'm over on, I'm over on the other one. Follow on both. Por que no las dos? Have both. Again, let me know in the comments down below. Did you get some new gyms, some new pokey stops? How was your Dia, uh, Dia de Muertos? How did that go for you? And are you looking forward to the Festival of Lights? Is de are you Team Dedene? And if not, why are you wrong? Leave your essay below. Thank you so so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.